we're going to um, we're going to play a little bit of Stardew Valley and uh, chill the fuck out. And I'll show you what my farm looks like. Um, Axiom came out on Switch. So that's cool. Um, yeah, there's. I now have more games than I know what to do with. And yet, I find myself hopelessly addicted to Stardew Valley. So, as I said the other day, I was like, oh, I'll play an hour of Stardew Valley. Just an hour, just to find out what it's all about. And then uh, I was like, because I have never played it before. This is the first time I'm playing it. And I ended up turning that hour into like two and a half hours. And then many more hours the next day. It's, it's one of those games. So yeah, I've got about five and a half hours in the game, you know, nothing crazy. But I, I've also, uh, that's that's like two days where I didn't play today. So before anyone asks about waifus, I have not started thinking about waifus. No, I know people play like, you know, games for eight hours a day. I know that my, when I say that I'm playing a lot, it's not a lot for most people. But yeah, the the waifu thing is is by far the thing that I am I am paying the least amount of attention to. So um anyway, I'll show you what's going on. I have a fucking stupid hat. This is what my character looks like without the hat. This is the starting house, so there's really not anything going on here. But, um... Yeah, let's take a look. So, I don't have to water my shit. My farm looks like anus. But, you know, I'm, I'm starting out kind of small. Um, I'm not really, um... All that experienced with the game yet. So, I'm, I'm, I'm still figuring stuff out. But it's a very, very small farm. Someone in chat just said, ooh. Alright, now, now now, people are gonna tell me how to play my game. Actually, I wouldn't mind a couple pointers here and there, actually, because you guys might be able to point me in the right direction to getting better and cool stuff. But before we do any of that, um, I guess I need to get my axe back. Is in the garden based on Stardew Valley. It is now! Oh wait, no, I do have a dog. No, 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 not that I'm encouraging people to tell me, like, how to play the game. But, like a, you know, a general kind of piece of advice or a tip. Ho the worms, where's them worms? Ordered too much fertilizer. I bet you can take, uh, put some to good use. Oh, cool. Let's see what this is. Soil has a chance of staying watered overnight. Mix into tilled soil. Cool. Tomorrow we're all getting together for the flower dance. If you can find a partner, you might even want to participate in the dance yourself. God damn it. See, now this is forced waifuing. I don't want this. A little clearing beyond the forest west of town where we hold the dance. Arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you're interested. So I was told to, um... Fishing is great if you're good at it. Well, I'm not good at it yet because I haven't tried to do it yet. <laughs> but, uh... You say, ho the worms. I'm, I'm still looking for worms to hoe. For those that don't know what this game is, I know Stardew Valley just seems like ubiquitous and everyone kind of knows what it is, but there are plenty of people who have never played it. It's a Harvest Moon type game, and it has a very addictive gameplay loop. And, um... 
you know, you make a little farm and you enjoy yourself and, and then you, you fight. There is fight. And I'll show you fight. So I have a couple of geodes that I need to have cracked open. Um, fight. There are some worms right down there under your crops. Okay, hi Reg. By the way. Let's find the worm. Oh, there's, there's worm. I see him. They're moving. Little bastards. That's clay. Oh. Oh, worms can give you random stuff. Oh, I see. Well, anyway. Here's my little garden. And, uh... I'm gonna have to make a new treasure chest in a little bit. But... I don't know what that noise is. Also, my dog is gone. What type of farm did you choose? I chose forest farm. Worms can give you artifacts. Worms can give you worms. Oh, there's a thing on the board here. Let's see. Help wanted. Trying to keep the art of fishing alive. 200 to any fisherman who catches one catfish. Good luck. Alright, fine. Sure. I'm really upset. I'm really upset that my dog is fucking gone. Um, but yeah, uh, I was gonna say too, you guys ever hear of hookworms? And how they would enter you between, the, in the soft spot between your toes, if you walk on a lot of dirt? Oh, what the fuck? Really? Look at that! Lost book. Library's collection has expanded. <laughs> oh, thanks worms! Look up hookworms, they're fun. They- they do a lot of fucked up things. Tips on farming. Someone in chat said, don't talk about hookworms, people have anxiety. I also shoot monsters in the face with shotguns on the stream. Just saying. And people. Okay, so just books are just tips. I was talking about bookworms, guys. Bookworms. You know, people that like to read a lot. Oh, there's my copper axe. Copper axe. So now I can chop down trees. Oh. So I have these geodes. That need to be broken open. The fuck is that? A computer? Dwarf gadget. Hmm. Granite. I wouldn't want to take that for granite. <laughs> Necoite. It's catstone. Gunther can tell you delicate shard made from tiny pink meadow. Actually, Norm MacDonald made that joke, too, the granite joke. And he did it, like, months and months and months ago. It's not an original joke. <laughs> it's kind of terrible. So, we'll put, you know, there's, there's artifacts that you find, and you, you earn rewards for donating to the museums. Or the museum. But I may not know much about this game, but I've been enjoying it. I kind of like the fact that I'm playing it without uh, too much info.
So you get to, uh, read Dwarvish Helm. Right? Uh, let's see. Dwarf Gadget's a piece of the advanced technology once known to the dwarves. It's still glowing and humming, but you're unable to understand how it works. donating because the, the rewards are good uh, plant these in summer so there's some there's some things that you plant I'm learning seasonally would you recommend this game to someone who's never played a harvest moon game I didn't think I was gonna get into this game honestly I thought it was gonna be just you know kind of fun for a little bit I didn't realize I was gonna like it this much but I do and I think I would recommend it. I'm not a huge Harvest Moon fan. Um, I played Rune Factory. I didn't love it. I think to each their own. But in my case, I did not expect to like this game as much as I did. But it, it, after like an hour, it really started clicking. And it started... I started seeing the potential of it. I was like, oh, I see. This is, this is going to be addictive. I think I can eat these. Daffodil? No. No, they just look cool. Go inside the shit building. I already did that, and I met the wizard. Um, I'm not sure what to do next. But let me show you the mine. We'll do some mining. And I, I need to also, after this bout of mining, I would like to, um... I would like to upgrade my axe. So yeah, this is the mining. Basically, you go down into these, um, mines, and every five floors, it saves your position, unless you die. So I made it to 25. And this is how you, um, make ore, which can be used for materials, and blah 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 blah, and, you know, eventually this is where you find geodes, which are what I just unlocked. This is a sword. This- this bug thing is a sword. I got this as a reward for killing a, a certain amount of enemies. And it's a really good- <laughs> it's a really good one. It's an insect head sword. So, I mean, some of the day, you'll spend farming, then you'll do some errands, and then I like to end the day with a little bit of combat and some mining. It's, it's simple combat, but it's, it works. Um, there's a dodge. Some weapons don't have a dodge, it seems. Um, I died once. But now that I've had... Since I've gotten this weapon, it's a lot better. Stay away from Joja Mart, or every Stardew Valley will, player will hate you. Well, that's the risk we take, I guess. But I had no inclination to join Joja Mart, don't worry. I considered it briefly, just to, like, I, I knew it would piss people off. I, I considered doing it just to be like, Hey guys, I found this great way to play the game. Check this out. If you hoe the dirt in caves, you might be able to... ...find things, let's see, like, like this. Am I looking for anything sp Oh, look at that! Oh, cool. Thanks for the tip. See, that's the kind of stuff I like to hear. Like, tips like that are great.
These carrots are really useful. They give you energy. So you see the right side, there's a health bar and an E bar. E bar is your, um, stamina. And, um, if you use it all up, you could pass out. <laughs> Not a great idea. So, eating certain foods gives you more stamina. But mining takes a lot of stamina, which is why having a better axe would definitely help. It takes three hits to get that ore. But it's, it's a fun little loop, really, I mean... And you don't know what to expect in the mines. And the geodes are really cool, too, because... Sometimes you get really cool, like, uh, rare stuff in them, sometimes it's just crap. Sometimes it's more copper. But whatever you get... You feel like you earned it. forget to go home before it gets too late. Yeah, I've already made that mistake. I should probably shotgun it to the next floor. Kind of dilly-dally shilly-shallying. Famous, famous uh, RPG movie dialogue. The best script of all time. Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. Vinny, you said you were never gonna say that again. Oh, fuck. Right-click on minecarts. Sorry to say, that doesn't help. What, what button is that? Oh, there you go. Okay, cool. Yeah, the, those hints that you guys just gave in the past 20 minutes alone have been very helpful. What the hell is bug meat? It's exactly what it sounds like. And it's fucking gross and probably smells like Comic-Con. Another reason I'm happy I'm not at Comic-Con. It only smells. Oh, I got a couple of other, other cool things at my P.O. Box. Uh, Sin City Assassin sent me uh, a Final Fantasy VII book, which has, like, the story, the lore, the making, the making of... Thank you, Doug. I appreciate it. I look forward to uh, reading it. Um, the Legend of Final Fantasy VII Creation Universe Des Decryption. Um... It's nice, like, it's a nice size book. So I got it, Doug, thank you. Um, someone sent me a plug and play you guys are gonna love. I got the NES, uh, SNES Classic that I told you about. Um, a couple of little pieces of art. Uh, hang on a minute. I wanna give credit where credit is due. I got a Scoot Amiibo that I'll show you a picture of. That came with the SNES Classic, thank you, Kai. Pab sent me some stuff from Reno. Because Reno. Maybe you're aware of it. But I like it. There's a nice little keychain here. One day I'm gonna head on back to the biggest little city. Even though I've never been there. And a mug, too. With a clown on it. You guys are too generous. Also, if you ever send me stuff and you already have my P.O. Box, 
please address it to Vincent. Nothing else. How do you feel about the clown mug? I'll be looking at the clown. Thank you. But yeah, some, some really good stuff. Oh shit, it's getting late. All right. It's time to go. It's time to go. We gotta leave now. Now we elevate. When it gets to 12 a.m., you don't fully sleep to restore all your energy. Yeah, I noticed that. That's okay. Is your name actually Vincent? I thought it was a meme. What? <laughs> of course my name is Vincent. <laughs> but yeah, you have to address... They got a little strict. Uh, very slightly strict about what was on my P.O. Box stuff, so please, not Vinny, not Vine Sauce, or anything, just Vincent. That would, that would be very helpful. They, they got a, um, a new, at the post office, they got a new, um, manager, and she's absolutely, like, fucking by the books, strict. Not even Vinny is allowed. I'm not- I didn't say she was a bitch. I didn't think it. Maybe I thought it. I don't know. I need a new treasure chest. So we, let, let's, um... Let's get some wood. I like the way I said that. I'm, I'm grown up. Today's the dance, isn't it? Come on to do the dance! So let's put some stuff away. Um, as much stuff away as I can put in here. Amethyst I can't put away. Clay. So I'm gonna stack some stuff. I, you know, I'm not very good at organizing, but it's... You know, here, here's everything. I can eat this cave carrot, like, right now. Don't know why I have so much bug meat. Okay, so, coal, wood. The other things I can hold on to for a second. There's Sklumpy! I don't have to feed Sklumpy? Weather is partially cloudy, light breeze, lots of pollen get a fortune every day. A new viewer has joined us. Welcome, welcome. Uh, this, the neutral the day is in your hands. Pet him and fill his bowl every day. Good boy. So should I hold on to any gold star turnips for potential future contests? Keep at least 10 of them. Hold on to them. All right, so then we'll, we'll get rid of the silver, but I'll, I'll keep the gold one. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm gonna need a vegetable box, because I have a, a gold cauliflower. See, I, I have... there's, um, another parsnip. So I got a bunch of gold parsnips already. Let's see if I can... Yeah, get fucked, tree. pronounce cauliflower really weird? How, how do you pronounce it? Cauliflower? Cauliflower? Yeah, I've heard- I've heard a couple different ways. With no emphasis on- on the I that... I'm pronouncing. Cauliflower. I always grew up hearing it. Cauliflower. It sucks, right? Fuck me, right? Fuck me, no fuck you! Again, if you haven't heard the R. Kelly song, I think it's called Real Talk. It is, um, like, probably, you know, we had the, the wonders of the world. The Sphinx and all those things. It's one of them. Flower dance has begun. Well, looks like I'm not dancing with anyone. I mean, I'll go over there and see what's up. Oh, there, no one's here. Water your crops. Yeah, 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 I know. I forgot about that. Hang on. I, I think. <laughs> I, I swear I know to water my crops. get there from the beach. Good. Good chat. Good chat. <laughs> I, I feel like it was worth it. for the fucking dance. Oh, there's like a shop here. I, I won the Easter egg hunt, by the way. Rare crow? Collect them all. Um, I think Lee is with Sebastian. Or Elliot. Fuck. Look at that Fabio-looking motherfucker. The air smells so sweet with all these flowers. Hey. Are, are, you, are you available to dance? I'll be honest, I don't want to dance with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, because I can't dance. Hey, you want to dance with me, Willy? Wet Willy, they call him. Oh, hey, Pam. Pam, you ready to dance? Uh, hey, it's me, Wet Willy. If you want to dance a little bit, well... Alright. I really hate dancing in front of everyone, it's so embarrassing. Mom makes me do it. 
That's flattering, but I'm gonna have to say no, sorry. Alright, fine. How about you, Evelyn? Evelyn, come on, I know you wanna dance with me. Doesn't matter that you look like a skull. I'm ready. Flowers! I can hardly see them! It's too bright out here! I'm practicing my dance moves. It needs to be perfect. I've been flower queen for the past five years. I'm not ready to step off the throne just yet. Want to dance? Ew, no. Mm. Marnie looks lovely today. Love is in the air and I'm still single. Well, I mean, I'm single and I mean, even Linus is here. Linus is homeless. Spring is almost over, what a shame. Working up the courage to ask someone to dance with me. Gulp, I'm nervous. No, uh, no thanks. Ah, fuck this. No one wants to dance with me. Caroline, wish Pierre would spend time with the family. No. I'm stuffed, hey, have you tried the red jelly yet? Let's go, Emily. I'm very sorry. Ready if someone agreed to dance with somebody else. Okay, never mind. And then... Come on, dude! Go ahead. Do the dance! Nobody ever dances with you on the first year, v Vinny. Okay. I really didn't... I kind of didn't care enough, <laughs> to be honest. I'm not, like, totally down for wa forced waifu games. That was fun. Time to go home. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, fuck. It's this late? What, what, what do we- we danced for like, what, ten hours? My crops- my crop is about to die. Did Ayla force Chrono to drink? Or, or rather, eat the soup? Which we all know was, was alcohol. I just stood there watching for ten hours while other people danced. Just need to be in bed before midnight. And done. Wait, 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 wait. Did I water you? Done. Derg. So how about that dance? Uh, so when, when should I start planting summer stuff? Like I have some summer stuff, should I? Spring is almost over. Oh, so you can't like start it? in the beginning, like the end of spring. Okay, I was <laughs> I was hoping to cheat a little bit and like start it now. Also, I'm using an analog stick to move, which is why I'm missing so frequently. I've switched to D-pad. 
some bean. I like green beans. Green bean, I think, is um, a quality side dish. I told you my simple green bean recipe. All current crops will die in the new season. Oh, that's cool. I don't know which croppage will survive by sprouting before then. What was simple green bean recipe again? Um, well, you put some oil on the pan and you put the beans on <laughs> with some salt and pepper. Let it cook for like three minutes. Then some really finely chopped garlic. Mix it all together for like two minutes. Then put a little bit of um, uh, vinegar. Red wine vinegar is good. Let that cook another minute or two and just mix it. This is a, on a, a high heat or a medium high. So, that's it, really, you know, just to call, it's a very s simple thing, but they come out really good when you do that. Have you ever thought of posting your recipes on Twitter? Most of them, that's the only one that I think I came up with. Most of them I got from Red Bib. And, um, I don't really have anything else. I'm not really cooking a whole lot these days. I'm cooking just like simple stuff. I haven't really had time to really delve into cooking too far. I'm taking a little break. Is there anything that I can do with repeat Dwarven Helm? Like, should I be keeping this shit? Just sell it. Or keep it, or use it as a gift. Um... Let's see, upgrade tools. Five bars of copper. Used water crops can be refilled at any water source. Um, I kind of wanted that pickaxe. Well, I'm not going to do pickaxe because I want to actually do the cave today. Upgrade your watering can on a day it's going to rain. You'll also notice I didn't check the TV today. I have to get into certain habits if I am to play this game the way you wish for me to play this game. Which is to say, min-maxing for the best, the best um, outcome. I've missed so many birthdays already. Ripe potate. Deliver one. Okay, I don't think I have any potate in the works at the moment, so... Two days. I have two days to bring a potate. Shit. Always check trash cans, you find good stuff in them. Really? That sounds like japish. Well, let's see. <laughs> Don't do it in front of people. Okay. If you check garbage cans in front of people, they think you're weird. Art mirroring life. 
get any trash. I want to do the community center thing for a little bit. So, this wizard fella sent, or, or he told me about these little dudes that appear and are weird, and apparently there's something happening there. Um, this old derelict community center is haunted by these fellers. Spring foraging bundle. Winter. Um, reward bridge repair. So what what should I choose? Community center equals game progression. Do the summer bundle. Bundle. Just click them all, damn it. Oh, I thought this was like a one-time thing. Spring. Reward bridge. Oh, I see. So if I bring... Oh, man. I wouldn't have sold some of that stuff. So I have to bring one of each into this thing. I see. Construction bundle. Bunch of wood. Exotic foraging. Okay. Well, I had one of those carrots. Alright, so let's let's do the spring one. You don't have to do it all at once. Well, I think I know what... I think I've memorized what I need for spring. I think that was one of them, right? <laughs> Maybe? It's on the right hand side of the menu. Oh, cool. Okay, spring foraging. Yeah, so daffodil. And I know what the other ones are. Okay. We'll just look around. I, I found those all of those things at various points. Here's the other two. Leak. I should donate bean. Oh, these are like silver ones. Bean donation. Um, I'll keep... the malicite for a potential gift. I also did not water my dog. Sorry, dog. The only show where voice spirits, um, annoyed today, luck will not be on your side. Oof. Okay, so I just need that one last thing. Dog. 
donk, donk, donk. I like how the donk sound uh, has reverb. Worms, yeah, don't forget worms. I didn't see any. Did you guys see worms? Did you guys see any hook uh, bookworms? No. By crops. By bus. In your dog? <laughs> Don't say that! My dog is pure. This is the shittiest looking farm ever, but I, I don't even care. I like it. Is there a way to regrow dirt? Actually, also, is there a way to get rid of grass? Turn on a setting called always show tool hit location. Let's see. It's on. Pickaxe dirt for new dirt. Oh, I see. I see. So if something looks stupid like that, good. We got it. Part of the forest farm includes less dirt for growing crops. It's part of the challenge of the map. I see. So there's an abundance of foresty things, but also less dirt, less doit. I was also told to build a silo, but I have not been able to find that just yet. This guy's got a fucking sickle. Furnace, um, mayonnaise machine? Turn eggs into mayonnaise. <laughs> How about fucking no? The construction store. Oh, you have to buy the ingredient or buy the blueprint. The bloop. The, you have to buy the blurpy. Alright, I'm still looking for... that. I mean, I've come across a couple of those, but not as many as the other things, like the, um, scunions. Is it worth shaking bushes? Just the ones with the berries, right? Yeah, I figured. Just checking. I wanted to see if a piece of furniture would fall out of a tree in the form of a leaf. It's getting late. Mayo machine is the best way to make money early game-ish. There's actually a lot of wild food in this area if you know where to look. I've been having fresh salads almost every day. Well, have I got a gift for you? I got... A really nice gift for you. Thank you. Oh, there it is. There's what I need. It's a wild horseradish. And I'm being like super cool. I was able to give a gift. 
even though I literally just picked it up off the ground. Is this your first playthrough? Yeah. This is the Switch version, yeah. Part of the addictive nature of this is the fact that it's portable. I was able to play it at the studio and also, like, go outside. <clears throat> We've been having really good weather lately, so I've just been playing it outside a little bit. It's good. Could you imagine that? <laughs> Out in nature, playing virtual nature game. Andrew complete. Spring seeds. Well, fuck. I guess I waited a little too late <laughs> for all that. How Italian is Vinny? What a weird question. Apparently 100%. But I, I couldn't tell you for sure. Ah. Intradasting. Why do you have legs? Why do you have legs? That's weird. Are you like a spider? Oh, it's one of those little fellas. Okay, good, good. So you just get different rewards for turning in stuff like this. Uh, I think it might be too late for the spring crops. Animal bundle. Fall crops. Artisan. Oh, that's a lot of fucking food. Quality crop. Oh, I need gold. This is what the community center was all about. You guys were mentioning having gold things. You don't miss anything by going slow. It's all good. Finish the entire tree for the reward listed below. Lots of fishing. Spring seeds are the random vegetables you foraged. However, spring is almost over. So, next year. Something tells me I'm going to get bored of this game before I end up doing the fish bundle or the other ones. But, you know, having little things to work forward, uh, and work towards and work, uh, look forward to. That's nice. Dark. Well, I am enjoying it. That's the thing, like... Whoa, a fairy. Did the bean fairy just show up? I 
I don't know what the I don't know what that is. You can put Bean in community center now. Okay. Okay. These must be amazing beans. Also, the the only real complaint I have about this game is the saving takes a little while. It's a random rare event. Let's see weather tomorrow is going to be beautiful. Fortune teller. Spirits in good humor, you'll have a little extra luck. This music reminds me a little bit of... Termina from Chrono Cross. I mean, it's it's very similar. Dirt. And they, they even kind of... They even kind of like go in the same way. Oh, my kale is ready. Let me collect my hyper beans. Did that just make my beans grow faster? Cool. And yeah, there's there's no point for me to try to plant more spring veggies because spring is up in just a couple days. So I'll save my spring seeds for next year. There's worm on left side of bean. What do you mean? Here they are. They're they're in the they're in the ground over this, so I couldn't see them very well, at least very well. Like fragment in my sentence is really bad tonight because I'm kind of tired. Sound bit like Christopher Walken. What do I do? I guess um. Put in some kale. Uh, let's let's see what I, I can give to um, community center. I will not have potato for the quest that I have. That that potato is not happening. She's just gonna have to live without potato. You have some stuff in your chests to take in your chests to take to the community center. Oh, well, I'll. Oh yeah, the gold parsnips. Yeah. Bean. I guess regular parsnip. And I sold my cauliflower and tomato, uh, potato. I kind of wish I did this a little earlier, got started on it. But again, I'm not planning on streaming this whole game. This is going to be like a revisit every now and then, potentially. And I know I say that about some games. Some games I just kind of get bored of. What is the goal of this game? I don't really know, but I am kind of having fun regardless. I think the goal is to just be a farmer and, you know, get a waifu.
you know, do some things, enjoy your life, listen to some music. So where's Wet Willy? Burn down Joja Mart, yeah. Find a way to grow the jazz cabbage. Willie is at the dock. Willie is wet Willie. Yeah, you can just, you can kind of play however you want. You can focus on combat, you can focus on, on um, farming, you can focus on fishing. It seems like the game is designed in a way that you can't really fuck up too bad. And you can just enjoy your life, your, your in-game life. This isn't Wet Willy, is it? Or is this, um, Elliot? Trout soup. That's Willy. Oh. You brought me the item I asked for. It looks perfect. Here's your payment. Yeah, man, easy gold. Maybe this is a spoiler, but what are these statues? I, I can't interact with them. Teleportation. Very late game. Oh, it's Fabio. Three hundred pieces of wood. <laughs> Worm book. Yet again. go to the mines, do a little bit of mining, and then I'm gonna submit my my weapon, well, my pickaxe for upgrade. So, this will be my last mining for a little while. Fix the bridge so you can sell coral. Coral gives you a shit ton of money early game. Good to know. Wow, coral. It's amazing how ingrained the word coral is with that stupid fucking walking dead meme. By the way, Russell Brand and Joe Rogan did a, a podcast and it was pretty, pretty, pretty good. It's very interesting. And Russell Brand had coffee that like got him kind of fucking high. This is a very caffeinated coffee. And he went off in like a thousand different directions at once. It was it was astounding. But uh I, I recommend it. Very interesting podcast. It's very weird. Very Um somewhat educational. That was a new one. Yeah, it's called Caveman Coffee, I believe. That's the the name of the coffee that they that they drink. This is the first cave that has been this dark. What the fuck? What is that? 
No, I didn't bring a light. Up until now, I haven't needed to bring a light. Gotta bring torches. Out of here, man. So what, you just set him down? Well, wooden sap. Okay, I can actually see a little bit here. For the next ten floors, you need light. This, this may not be good mining, then. Yep, we're, we're in for a bad time because I do not have any light whatsoever, and I don't have the materials to make one. Maybe one of the Koopas will give it to us. What? Oh, maybe one of the Koopas will give us his. There's Koopas down here? Alright, yeah, this is- this is a bit foolish. I'll have to come back here when I have some- when I have some light. Okay, I know these are shortcuts. How do you get those going? Community center. Bandaru. There's a lot of fucking bundles that you have to complete to get stuff done. Summer's almost here. The days are getting longer. Um, first, let me see what I can fit in here. Oh, right. I should be turning in some stuff. Let, let me turn in a couple things. Um, I guess I'll keep the kale... The gold kale, um, oyster, a, a gold clam. I mean, sh I should be selling clams, right? <laughs> Just getting some opinions. Organize. I've got a crab for some reason. I've got an oysters, clams, and cockles. But yeah, I have, I have all this stuff that um, I want to hold on to the gold stuff. Except I, I know the parsnips can be can be given. Sell anything that's not required for bundles or gifts. Okay. So like, I don't need a thousand acorns. I don't need slime. Or a 99 bug meat, you're telling me? What, you're telling me I don't need 99 bug meat? Sorry, 95 bug meat? You got a glow ring for darkness. Is that what that does? It emits a small, constant light. Oh. Yeah. 
bug meat is good bait for fishing. Oh yeah, well that would have come in really handy. That's a nice little item. Boy! I'm, I'm now upset that I named my dog Sklumpet and not Durg. How do you feel about the sound design in this game? Definitely adds to it. That's nice. I know you can cut the stumps, but if I leave the stumps, then they, they grow back from more wood. Are you going to stream this as often as Animal Crossing? No. No, this is just uh, like a, you know, a series of, of one-offs because, uh, for my own amusement and because I thought it would be cool to show off my farm in the game a little bit because it's good. I like it, but, uh, it's definitely not as meme worthy as Animal Crossing. But yeah, this stream is is entirely for me. Stumps don't grow. Oh, so then I got the wrong information. Then again, I guess if you think about it, stumps wouldn't just randomly grow back into trees. I would not recommend going to sleep with a glow ring. By the way. You will be up all night. <laughs> Don't put it on your dick. Thank you for the advice. Yes, this is a good piece of advice for the chat. There's a farm that you can choose in the beginning that's raided by monsters. Like, every night. This reminds me of the end of Demon Days. Don't get lost in heaven! Any of these grow? Probably not. Got like what, one day left? The sound font for this game, though, is very reminiscent of those old RPGs that we grew up with. Maybe the beans will. Well, if, if the beans grow, then we put the beans on it. Oh, I can make a new thing. I can make this. It's, um, tapper. Maple oak or pine tree and wait for the reservoir to fill with product. 
How do you know what tree is what? Oh, hey, dog. Why? I don't know by sight. I know what a pine tree looks like. Here, let's do this then. I'm gonna build one. I should also probably smelt a little bit more while this is happening, because he who smelt it, smelt it. Um, <laughs> I got, I got no conclusion to that. Tapper. So let's see. Would you recommend I put one on this tree right here? Any tree will give you something. So I'll put it on that one, and another one that's kind of close. I guess we'll... Okay. Quality trees. I guess I'll go upgrade my pickaxe now. Um, I've been told that on the next day I can shake a bush above the playground or something. Oh. Yeah, I have a very important video that you need to see real quick. I was gonna do a, a thing. I was gonna do a thing, but I'm gonna let you see something instead. This is required viewing if you are to uh, watch the stream from this point forward. Face, 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 face. Can't go No. Here it is. Okay. En enjoy. Space, face, 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 face. Space, face, 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 face. If you want to know about space, you have to know about the plants. If you want to know about the plants, you have to listen to me right now. Sun, Mercurus, Uranus, uh, water planets, Pluto, and uh, this one, they didn't have a name for it yet. It's too far away. You can name it if you want. You can name it Doris after my mom. If you want, it's up to you. Okay. That's that's from the same dude that made the Pepe Silvia animation. Just in case you were wondering. If you want. Vinny, give me my 20 seconds back. How long have you been watching the stream and just then you wanted your 20 seconds back? How about a link? Just type Brule Space Animation. Get started on this. It should be ready in a couple days. Well, I can't really do a whole lot until then with the mine, so... 
What would you all recommend I do? Since I can't go mining and fighting around the world. Fishing. I don't know how to fish really well. In fact, I've never caught a fish. <laughs> Is. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know. Different games have different fishing mini games. Fish, 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 fish. Oh, okay, I see. I, I just have to hold the button. I thought it was um, tap it rapidly. I understand now. Okay. Took me a second, but it was it was. It was, um, intuitive enough that I picked up on it in a second. Revenge of the Sunfish. Actually, I'm learning you can hold the button and you just have to let go of it when the, um, exclamation mark appears. So like that. Got ya. It's, it's gonna be a boot. It's gonna be a boot. It's, um... Oh. It's a base! A small mouth base. <laughs> I can't help but think of the word base. And it makes me it makes me crazy sometimes. Joja Cola fucking bastards. Game is making statements. Green algae. Just want to catch a shark. Have it go on like a killing spree. <laughs> maybe, maybe a game like this is a little too peaceful for me. Where, where, where I'm now desiring, a, like, a, a shark to grow legs, appear on land, and start, like, accosting the people of the town. I think I just have problems, really. Fish, 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 fish. Fish, 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 fish. 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 A lot of sunfish today. I, I mean, I am fishing in the exact same area like every time. Who are you planning on dating? Well, the waifu thing is is weird. I'm not really, I'm not really into waifu things. I know it sounds a little weird, but mm -hmm. well, not 
weird, really, but like Rune Factory it tried to like make me date someone named Eunice. And I was just like, you know that Seinfeld gif where he just stands up and walks out? And he's like, nah. That's kind of me. Like, I'm not really into the waifu part of the game. Or husbando, either. I just want to do some fishing and some fighting and some growing. And I want to eventually legally grow medicinal marijuana here in my farm. Soggy newspaper. This is trash. <laughs> yeah, no shit. last fish for now and then we'll go to the community center I think um, I'm gonna stop the stream there it's almost summer in the game bream so there we go new fish uh, it's almost summer so that means new crops that means learning from old mistakes that means more community center that means green algae And, and trash rating. No one sees it. No one sees it. Iron bar. I don't have... Sorry. No can do. Warp. Fish. Um, specialty, no. Crab pot, no. Night fishing. And we've got a bream. Lake. Smallmouth. Uh, I don't see. The need for a smallmouth bass. I guess they don't want one. Neil Bream? My favorite celebrity. So again, for anyone who's uh, joining and realizes, this is this is not this is not a game where things explode and people fight and shoot. Um, of course, it's a little boring, but that's that's kind of the point. There's a a very meditative meditative quality about this game that I that I couldn't fully appreciate until I actually played it. Motherfucker. So I would absolutely not be upset if uh, this wasn't the type of stream that you would enjoy watching. And if you want to go watch some sh sh stream. But it's it's pretty relaxing. And uh, it's, it's, it's pretty fun in its own way. So watch it or don't. Whatever you want to do. I mean, 
Look, I like how it's described as trash, Joja Cola. Hmm. I wonder if this game is making a statement about Walmart and the like. Drop off your five-star turnips before you forget them. Okay, I'll, I'll do that real quick. Um, I'm gonna just turn these fish in. Gotta save the planet, ma man. <laughs> man. <laughs> Man. Yeah, Eggman. We have to save the planet. How do we do that, Sonic? Well, the best way to save the planet is to take down Judge Amar. Man. They won't even allow Walmart in New York. It's like you can't even have a Walmart in New York. No, you can side with Joja. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that. But I'm, I'm all about saving the planet. You know what I mean? You gotta save it. Definitely. I think um, littering is atrocious. And I've seen... Th that's one thing. I mean, I'm not an overly uh, hippie type person. My, my sensibilities... I, I do think it's unfair to, to say that certain things are hippie when it's just being conscientious of the, the world around you to some small extent. Like, for example, not throwing something out of your car while you're driving. But I've seen that happen, like, surprisingly a lot. I've seen people just randomly here on Staten Island throw trash, just open their door, throw, like, a bunch of fucking trash into the road or onto the, the like, someone's lawn. And, and just, you know, that's it. And they just drive away. We're not known for our class, sadly. But that is definitely something that I've I found uh, a bit infuriating. Whether or not you believe in the environment. Throwing trash just seems like a fucking scumbag move, you know? How do you like the controls on the Switch, Vinny? I think it's good. You just full of surprises. Yeah, Desert, seriously. There ain't no getting off of this train we on. We gotta save the planet, Cloud. See, now I'm even more excited to read that Final Fantasy VII book. I thought Staten Island was a dump anyway. Oh, fuck. We, we had uh, New York is not the environment. Look up pictures of Staten Island. Look up videos of it and you'll see it's a very green very foresty very um you know there's a lot of parks and it's it's actually kind of nice there's beaches it's it's very different than your and i, I wouldn't expect very everyone to know that because who the fuck knows what staten island is um but we do specialize in trash and that also extends to bad parenting uh, that extends to anger problems that turn into abuse drug problems <laughs> we got a lot of fun stuff here we've, we've got a very high rate of pill related deaths and um, I, I could extrapolate my theories or why I think that is but I wouldn't I don't want to do that right now we did have the largest dump in the United States but it was closed, and... Okay, we're gonna stop here. We, we did, The dump closed because it was a fucking mess, and it was getting worse and worse and worse. The thing was like an artificial mountain. But it's actually now a park, believe it or not, and it seems absolutely mad that they would try to put a park over a dump. 
but I went to a presentation a while back when I worked for the uh, local television place and I watched this video that they put together. It was like an hour long video of how they did it. And it was astounding. Like there are various layers of, of soil and, and rock and all that. And then they have a way to harvest the gases that come out of it, like, and, and use it for electricity and, or energy. And it's, it's kind of amazing. Um, I mean, there's also layers of tarp, um, and then they, they put a layer of topsoil, but they actually let the trash be trash. And instead of it going into the, uh, atmosphere, they harvest it like the, the gas. So they turned it into a park. I don't know if it's active. Let me see. Let me see if I can grab a picture of it. I'm, I'm really impressed that this is a thing that happened <laughs> because it's, it's uh well, here's really all you need to know. It's fucking fascinating, isn't it? So there's, um, I believe there's the cross section. So they built on top of it and you can see, you know, the drainage and everything. And there's a lot of fail safes from what I remember. But yeah, the, I mean, the garbage ain't going nowhere. So if like, you know, there was ever some kind of event where we had to start over some like catastrophic event and archaeologists dug on Staten Island, they would eventually reach through and find thousands of fucked up looking Teddy Rucks bins and like E.T. on the Atari 2600 and the Atari 2600 and like slinkies and all these <laughs> these like like um these toys that we no longer really have. I mean, you could be a millionaire. So. And of course, you, needles. So yeah, of course. How many burbs died of starvation from lack of trash? Well, you, you have to understand they had evolved past the bird stage and they turned into full grown New Yorkers. See, when a seagull eats enough trash, it just turns into a New Yorker that raises a family and abuses their kids. So then you have the cycle that repeats and re re recycles, really. And um, it's wonderful. It's a beautiful thing. And then, of course, they take that out into the world. They drive like assholes. They throw trash onto people's lawns and... Um, and then you, you go to a store and they complain to the deli owner and they start screaming at him. It's not all that bad. I mean, as I said, Pete Davidson had some serious complaints about uh, Staten Island and, you know, why he hated it here growing up. But I'll tell you, um, I don't feel the same way necessarily. Not 100%. I have a little bit more faith, but yeah, then you, then you get stuff like this just at a random deli over a lotto ticket or something. You know, really get a chance to hear it. Yeah, well, obviously you can't see it, but um, there is something that no, it wasn't Mike. There is just some guy screaming at a deli owner, and I thought it was going to turn into violence, physical violence. And well, 
I was a little worried because I know the deli person that works there and he's a nice guy, but this dude uh, reached over the counter at some at one point with a fist and then retracted and then ended up hitting the counter at full force because the dude wouldn't uh, wouldn't give him wouldn't give him his ticket because it was under a different name or something. Low battery. All right. Well, that's that's a cue to stop the stream. No, it's a different deli guy. It's a different deli guy. There's a couple of different delis. I saw the the deli guy that made the good food, and uh, he was he was like uh, he asked me if I enjoyed his his uh, his dinner, and I said I did, and he seemed very happy about that. So, but we do have so like that's this thing I'm saying. Like we there's so many nice people here. There's a lot of great people. We get a lot of bad rap, and people give a shit because of our obvious reputation problem and it's real the vibe here sucks there is some really not so great stuff going on but there's also a lot of really great people and you can focus on that and i meet people on my travels that are great and that's just staten island new york as a whole is a whole huge thing it's a big melting pot and then you go to Brooklyn and it's hipster as fuck. But there's at least a lot of nice people over there. And they're not as stuck up as you'd think in a general sense. You know, and roughly speaking, Manhattan is just, uh, you have everything. Everything and everyone. And it's not, you don't get that like New York or like, oh, fuck yourself. You don't get that as much as you think. And it's, um, I mean, you know, say what you want about big cities, whatever you're comfortable in. I like it here, but I also like that I'm just uh, a car ride away to Pennsylvania or New Jersey. And, and New Jersey, when you start getting out further, it's nice. It's a lot of like, like just kind of nature and trees and really nice little places. So thank God I have the best of both worlds. I've got the city and I've got a more, um, well, sane existence. <laughs> on top of it so anyway this turned into a bit of a rant why don't we get the art going 